My name is Deacon Jonathan Frells. I was born in Corpus Christi, Texas, and then I was raised in a small town in South Texas called Quero. Um, after I graduated from high school, I went to college at Southwest Texas State University in sunny San Marcos, and I majored in chemistry. Um, when I graduated from there, I went to graduate school at Texas A&M and studied there for a few years and earned a PhD in chemistry. And then after I graduated from A&M, I got a job here in East Texas over in Longview uh, at Eastman Chemical doing research and development. And I worked there for about nine years um, doing research with the company, uh, working on different things. And while I was there at Eastman, I got involved with the church there at St. Mary's in Longview. And I became more involved with my faith. I became more involved with the church itself. Um, I started to grow in my faith. I started to learn more about the faith. Um, I got involved in uh, teaching Sunday school for seventh and eighth graders, which was a lot of fun. It forced me to learn more about my faith and more about the church itself. Um, I also started getting involved in adoration, which uh, was something new to me. I, did, I had not heard of that before. And so I, it intrigued me and I started going to adoration and the more I went, the, the, the more I liked going. And so I, it eventually built up that I, I turned out to I had a, a, a nice Eucharistic piety uh, in my life. And as I got more involved in the church and more involved in volunteering, I, I realized that I, I liked being a volunteer. I liked helping out, I liked learning, I liked participating. And um, it kind of occurred to me that since I liked being a part-time volunteer so much, maybe I ought to think about being a full-time volunteer. And so uh, the, the priestly vocation really kind of snuck up on me. I think the Holy Spirit did kind of an end around and, and you know, kind of caught me off guard because this was not the plan that I had for my life. But it did kind of grow slowly over you know, five or six years, I guess. And then finally, one day, I, I kind of made the decision like, yeah, I think I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to you know, leave my job, leave my career, um, leave behind the education that I'd gotten, and go try something new. And so I talked to my pastor. He said, OK, let's do this. And so we got the paperwork pulled together. I got accepted to the seminary. And uh, that was five years ago. And here I am right on the, on the eve of my ordination. Uh, my work at Eastman was um, what they call research and development. And so that means that sometimes you investigate new things that the company might be interested in. And other times you work on things that the company already does, but you try to make them better. So in some cases, um, there's a problem in the manufacturing that has to be solved immediately because you have uh, orders to fill and there's product that needs to be sold. And sometimes you work on projects that are maybe five or ten years out that seem interesting right now that might be useful in the future. And so you work on a combination of those things, some short term, some long term, but all kind of under that, under that um, umbrella of research and development. Yeah, I guess what I'm thinking about right now is being ready to be a priest, to make sure I can celebrate the Mass reverently, do it properly, um, help people, help draw people closer to Christ and closer to God, to be able to celebrate the sacraments um, in a reverent way, to be able to, I don't know, to do a good job <laughs> wherever it is I'm assigned. I think people might need fatherhood. You know, I'd, um, a, a person who can guide them, who can counsel them, who can assure them uh, and help them to grow in their faith life, you know, help them become more mature Christians um, and to be an example of, of Christ's love in their lives. I would like to thank everybody who has supported me over the past few years, um, both through material means and through spiritual means. Um, I'm always amazed at the generosity of people, people who I barely know who have written me and said, we're so proud of you, who have sent me cards and letters. Um, I, I, I am kind of humbled and amazed that so many people are so concerned about this person. Bishop Strickland will ordain me to the priesthood 
on June 11th at 10 o'clock in the morning at the cathedral. And I would like to invite everybody to come and celebrate with us uh, this joyous occasion. Um, thank you again to everyone who supported me and really to all the seminarians and the efforts of the diocese. I mean, we couldn't do this without you. So thank you very much and God bless you.